it's fairly well known that I have an opinion of Shark, which is perhaps not as complimentary as some other people's opinion of the company. So, thought it's time to do something about it, and I bought one or two. And, well, today's episode is just going to be going through them, seeing what we've got and seeing how many are not going to work. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, I have gone mad. I have all of these sharks. I said paid for at the beginning of this video, and I don't not actually pay for them. What this is is payment for this, oh, this, and there's a Hoover turbo power just off shot behind my lights, which I'm not going to show you. Yes, Mr. James has been round, and we had to use the back garden to do the transaction. We can obviously see the coronavirus pandemic, etc. But yeah, this is basically, you know, thank you very much, and yes, I'll refurbish these for you. Not going to do these too soon. He is quite far down the back of the pile. They're about to go to the loft, so stay tuned. Look, this is a very, very rare Electrolux light look with power controller Z1820. All cool stuff like that, but they're going to wait because he's quite far down the pile. These I have to do something with now because obviously I can't move from here forever. These are going to have to be worked on fairly soon. So, not quite sure how we're going to spin the videos around yet. We'll have, basically have to see how many work and how many don't. We've also got a big pile of other stuff which we should probably go through first. Mr. James is moving, so I have some other bits and bobs, including the ever-handy ever, ever packet of HEPA flows. And yet, there's some in there. There's also an instruction manual for a Henry Turbo, which is cool. I've not actually had a box of bags. I always buy the cheap ones off eBay, so that's cool. That'll come in handy for the 160 and what not. What else have we got? I have some SIBO bags. That's full of caps. SIBO caps. But yeah, nice genuine SIBO bags. Hey, these are always handy. Oh look, there's another HEPA flow there. Wow. And Mr. James said he was going to buy these. A one filter set, which is actually for my whichever one of these I have. But you know, we have an spare filter set. But we'll put that back in there. So that's cool. I've, I've, I've got to try and organise this. This is sharp. This can go over here. We have, and there's actually, I'll get a head out with it, one of these heads is unused. I don't quite know which one. I think it's probably this one. And look, I've got to, again, sealed up one of the pads for it with the accompanying manual. Obviously, the pad goes on there wraps around and this becomes a hard floor tool. We have two of the tools and one of the pads for now. I don't know if there's any more pads so that's cool. I almost bought one of these for mine and didn't because it, it, it did seem like a waste of money but now I've got two. <coughs> Inside this box we appear to have a I think non-genuine but brand new Henry hose, non-conical, the thing falling down already yeah that's not genuine but hey again incredibly happy to have the fact we'll put that back in this box and this box can be the non-shark stuff because we have a dock v6 slash 7 slash 8 dock and two slightly used not used tools and that's pretty cool so that can go in there as can all of that and that can be the non-shark stuff One of the jobs for today is to try and put as many tools onto these things as we can. And crikey, we'll, we'll roughly try and capitalise them. I mean, in the problem, I'm not a shark expert. Look, we've got never used turbo tools. Look, what have we got? That's a different style, I think. Are you the same? Well, no, you are the same crevice tool, that's fine. 
another one there. Crikey, we've got upholstery tools. They're, they're obviously matching because they're black. So we'll pop those. Oh, another turbo tool. Oh, another crevice tool. We have a sharp charger. Apparently this, James did give me some notes, it's from one of the ones that comes with a separate battery. So you, you plug that in and half goes to the cleaner to charge its battery and half goes somewhere else. It's got a Euro plug on it, but could come in handy. Because, well, I don't think it could be handy. I don't have a cord to shark, so <laughs> not very handy for now. So that is cool. There is stuff. Well, there's all of those tools. What else have we got? We have a Karcher window vac charger, whatever. What charges this? This is a, a, a Bosch Athlet charger, according to the box. Don't need to focus in on it. We don't need to care. We don't have a Bosch Athlet either. I threw it in the bin after filming the episode where we let it die. And this is a little bag, look, with the shark branding on it. This little bag is their anti allergen dust brush, the very thin style that goes under things. That's, that's very nice, actually. We have a little mini crevice tool dusting brush set with the obligatory, and I've done this with my Mila wand, the vent holes blocked off on the top. Oh, I'd rather keep these a little bit separate because I think these are unused. Another, oh no, there's a black one there. Oh no, yeah, the, another set of dusting brushes and whatnot. And a little bag. So we are tooled up for our shark. I'm going to put. I don't know, actually, I'm going to put those two in the bag, because, whatever, <laughs> then we'll have to think about these. Hello, buddy. Come up. Are you going to step up for the people on the camera? Yeah, come on. Look, Felix wonders, what the heck is going on? Look at all of these, look. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. So, here's all the tools. We do have a caddy. We'll wait until we find the cleaner for that. I think Phoenix, oh no, wait, also have a nice instruction manual pack as well. So, I think the next step to do is to clear all this away and then we'll start to go through the machines themselves. We have some space cleared. Oh, Phoenix is still on my shoulder, but I'd imagine he's about to do one. All right, yeah, yeah. We also have a book. Gecko, the lovely development company that I work with during my day job. And inside this book we have a page called Sharks because I've got to write down, oh, I want to write down bits and bobs as we go to see what they are. So we shall pluck one that I know is going to be issues. This one. This is a Shark AX950 UKT. 750 watt powered lift away with duo clean the reason i picked this first is because i already know that it's a bit broken oh there we goes this is all smashed off so that is an easy one to start with i suppose it has hang on how do we get no i don't want the one really so i want the uh right, that's it. see this is a problem i don't know how these work where's the lift away button Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm not doing very well here, but we'll, we'll take the bit out. We have a set of filters. I suppose I need to keep a check on what filters we have. They seem very good. We have a motor in there too. So that's, that's fab. Let's get the brush roll off and we'll have a look at that a bit closer. I'm incredibly stupid, of course. There's a massive lift away button on the top. So what do we have? We have some fancy wand controls. On off switch and a slider to adjust the power nozzle setting. Now, Mr. James has told me that one of these does not work properly, so that's fine. We have a upholstery tool. Ooh. Ah, very worn. Very, very worn indeed. Crevice tool. But no physical damage. All seems okay. If we can have a look at the filter. Oh, that smells very good. This one might be one that we can turn off. Because the power head should still work. What's happened is, look, it's been forward a bit into the light. It's smashed this part completely. So 
as long as these turn and look at that, got a duo clean head there that is disgusting, but it should work. One final slight problem though that I noticed is that ooh, cable is pretty, pretty smashed up, but doesn't seem to be dangerous, so I think we'll be okay for this turn on. So let's get it back together and turn it on. We are powered up and ready to go. So we shall be climbing it and with the fancy push button switch, turn it on. Ah, this is the one where the switch doesn't work. Let's turn, can we turn this off? Fair enough, there is something wrong with this floor. Which is pretty understandable really when you consider how smashed it is. This didn't, oh gosh, yeah, look. It is all worn out actually. Now I look at it a little bit closer. So I think this head is good for spares. And then it has a working motor. That's gonna be as good as we need. And it runs as well. We have a working suction motor too. Well, I have to hold this down. Oh, and a little light there. Oh. Excellent. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? One all, I think. If this, this is a head. In fact, actually, this is the same head, look. Ooh, ah, no, it's not the same head at all. Does it fit? It's got three wires. We may as well try this out as well. This is a head that came with it all. It is from an AX950 UK. And it is for this one. This has done what a lot of them do do, look, and has put its belt through the side casing. No, it is. I was looking at it from the wrong side. Yeah. I, oh, I'm not looking at it from the wrong side. I don't think it's going to be compatible. But... We're going to see if we can hear it try to run quickly and then we can get rid of it. So if it tries to run, it's a motor. Bam! That is good. That housing is pretty good. I reckon we could do something with that. But if not, I bet the motor will fit everything else. Right, that's done. Let's put this away. Let's get the second one out. The next Sharky Shark we have is this one and I'll show you what it is quickly there powered lift away but you're a bit high because this one's got a little tag still on its wand and the wand's been used there's dust on it so we'll take this off look there is our point of sale sticker look for our powered lift away with duo clean technology ah stop doing that and oh it's a B on the old energy rating Put that there. Yeah, bar that, it's actually in pretty good condition. Plastics are shiny. There's no massive gouges. Let's pop you down. There we go. So we can look at the rest of it. I, yeah, this is mint. It's also very, very small. And also, this is also... Blah, oaken. Don't smash my camera. The recline lock doesn't work. Let's have a quick shifty at this we shall take off the bin this is more like my lift away this is where we can see that ooh, we do have a filter but oh that's that's crunchy with lack of being washed in here have a filter and a motor that doesn't look smashed this is half the reason I'm checking because obviously I've known them twist around internally and smash everything up Filter <coughs> doesn't smell like it's been on fire, but whole thing isn't terribly clean either. Uh, no small tools, but everything is there. Let's turn this one on before we get too far and see what it does. Oh, it works. And if I change the settings to... Oh, that isn't carpet though. That seems 
to be spitting bits out. It works very well though. Let's release, let's lift away. God, it's so fiddly to do, but it's all connected. Then we'll lift away. And then we'll have a look at this. And it doesn't look physically broken, so hopefully. Well, in fact, it's trying to. What's happening is that this whole back case is loose. But as soon as I clamp it together, it does try. That is excellent news. What the? Oh, that is blocked up, folks. Blocked up a treat. But it does work. So I think we might actually do a little repair video on this just to get it working well as it is. And then we will go from there. What we can also do, look, is go get ourselves a crevice tool and an upholstery tool and this one could be a big tick in the box oh a bit excited about this one especially since it was that recline lock that worried me i was i'm not gonna lie obviously you know, me and mr james did have a conversation about them but oh the fact that that's doing that is good i just Oh, with a little nick on the cable, we may have to replace that. No, that's not too bad. Oh, but that is excellent. That's a duo clean as well, so possibly be a nice popular one. I'm going to try and sell some of these, you know. I'll say get your money back. I haven't spent any money. But, wow, a big tick in the box for our powered lift away. Duo clean, powered lift away. Ugh. Next! Let's drop down to a, something a little bit more familiar because, of course, I have one of these. But I, we have two, and you've seen the videos where we put the Blarco motor in them. So, oh, powered lift away MV681 UK. We have no dusty brush, but we do have a whoo, very warm, I would pretty much call that scrap, with some bonus gaffer tape crevice tool. Hey Phoenix, right, let's, I'm going to break these down a little bit purely because they're so top heavy otherwise. Let's take off this, which is a bit tatty, this is, this is the problem you see, this hose is actually pretty good, bar that, but who knows, we might be able to get a spare for it, we shall release the dust cup where we find ooh, some more filters full of dust. Not touching that. The motor though doesn't smell like it's been on fire again. Crikey, we are being maybe in fact we're being a bit too lucky here, aren't we? Motor seems okay as well. It's just absolutely filthy and dirty underneath. Uh, yeah, we have a fair familiar looking floor head. With a brush roll that rotates and is filthy. The little wheels are jammed. The whole lot's not nice. We're not going to open it all up now. It seems like it should work. What's the hose? Oh, we haven't checked the hose on the other two. I forgot about that. That's a, that's a, that's a key common shark problem, isn't it? Right. Let's turn this one on. I decree it's safe enough to do so. I'm trying to not have these explode all over the front room. Oh, oh, I can get to my power socket more now. Hey! Yeah, that's great. Right, does this work well? Yeah. Right. We can take the mess. I say this works a bit nicer than my one. It must be a slightly newer one. I don't see it has its correct motor in it. That might be key as well. Oh. Brilliant. That's good then. Let us wind the cable up. In fact, what we'll do, we'll we'll treat it for now. Uh, if we start to run out, we'll get one without the little dusting brush. But we'll put a we'll put an upholstery tool on there. It doesn't fit. Oh, they're all different, are they? Ah. Why 
I'm actually struggling so much with that. I'll do that off camera. We'll find tools another day. That's a bit strange, eh? I presume I need to get the right specific one, which... Ah, that one, look. Yeah. And we're going to get rid of that. Where have I just put the very thing that I was going to use? This one. It's a bit tatty, but definitely not as completely screwed up as the first one. Right, next. Next we have another, actually. AX950 UK, the big chunky ones. And again, it's in very good physical condition. Indeed. Oh, we're a little bit low there. There we go. Yeah, ah, cable seems to have seen a fair bit of use. So look, it's gone all sort of twisted and not very nice. So we might have to stick a spare cable on it. Take the hose off. Yeah, nice controls with a push button. Hope that works. Lift off everything. Have a look at the filter. Ooh, it's a, it's seen a bit of use, it, isn't it? That's a very tatty looking sponge filter. But it's there. Can't smell that it's been on fire, although it looks very dirty. Indeed, post filter. Been lucky so far, haven't we? Yeah. Doesn't smell cooked at all. The duo clean head. James did. Mr. James did say to me that this isn't actually the head that goes with this. This is a AX950 UK, whereas this is a AX950 UK. He said it wasn't the right head. Comment below. I don't know much about sharks, but look at it. It's immaculate. It is actually looks pretty much new. That is really really good. Hopefully it works and it's not like burns out. But then again, we've got our smashed head, which looks surprisingly like that so again we could rebuild uh, line this up put that on it's also got those no small tools and mr james again did tell me before he went that, that is what you want to not find them there it's what these black tools are for but i don't actually have a black crevice tool i notice it so yeah that goes on there like that but i i thought i had a black crevice tool no, we've got one really horrible black crevice tool, haven't we? Eh, I don't think anybody's going to care. Let's stick this on. Does it fit on? Yes, it does. Was that pointless? Let's find out. Does this one work? What are you doing, Bernie? Oh, ah! And the switch stays on, right. Works okay. Doesn't like this rug. Look, it's doing the whole scraping thing. It is. I don't know if you can hear it. There's a loose connection to that floor head somewhere. And I was wondering why I was using it, but this feels really loose in there. And this feels really loose on there. So that's, that is a slight problem perhaps. But again, it works really well. Crikey, we've got three left. They're all just going to catch fire, aren't they? Next up is this NV680 UK. Very much the one that I already have again. Ha! Oh, very common machine indeed. So, oh, again. This has seen some significant use, looking at the utterly disgraceful thing. But look, it's got its point of sale tag on the four easy assembly steps and then fingertip controls. That's nuts. It always amazes me how people can get a machine into, I mean, it's not a state, I, I must agree, but it's certainly used, and yet the tag's still on there. 
how amazing. Dust cup out. Filters, very clean, not as tatty as the last one. Doesn't smell of fire. Um, yeah, brush roll again. We're pretty immaculate, actually. Ooh. That's a little bit stiff to turn. Ooh, maybe. Shall we do the honours? I'll oh, trap your finger in the wand when you clip it on. No, let's turn it on. See what happens. Oh. I think we have a dead end. Let's see the brush roll turns. <coughs> yep. Oh, excellent. That's our first dead one. If you remember, I think I have done a video where main motor explodes itself and kills it doesn't turn anymore that motor is dead but there's still power to the head so this one is a very good body but a dead motor okie dokie doesn't have any tools we're not going to put any on it let's move on next out of the pile is another ax 950 ukt with first off a very stiff wheel which we can hopefully fix looking at all the clogged up hair. Strip her down a bit. Now I've put my phone on too silent. Apologies for that. Let's take the hose off again. Nice electronic hose with the on off switch up here. Does it work? Who knows? Ooh, take that all off. Look at that in a minute. Release the dust so again, mint filters. That's not bad as well. I say mint, little chunk out of it, but you could use that quite happily. Doesn't smell of fire. Let's have a look at the posty motory. Oh. No, it doesn't look like it. looks like it's been wet though. I can see like a skid mark running down the front. But it seems to work okay enough. We have our solder crevice tool as well look at that Fab. in fact we could tempt fate couldn't we and put a nice black i think that's wrong a nice black upholstery tool on there too let's let's go all out on the second to last one the floor head you is there but that's very stiff as is that that is seized so We'll turn it on and we'll see if it blips on, but oh, I don't think it will. It might make a horrible noise. That's if the thing works at all. So, put that back together, that back together, plug it in, and see what the... Oh, oh, see what? Oh, I can feel the suction. Yeah. Don't have... A running brush roll, but saying that, I've just remembered obviously we got this one sat which runs, so hoping that we can all guess what's going to happen. So, another main motor working, but no working brush roll motor, but I think that can definitely be fixed. One more thing before we move on to the last one is I think this is the machine that fits, I don't know if you want to lift it all the way, that fits this caddy, I'm sure Mr. James. So be it was. Yeah. There we go. Look, so I've also got the caddy for one of these. Obviously, we've got a couple of them now. And um, yeah, the one. <laughs> so huge. And then the little tiny, by the time we plug the hose in, which goes in all the way down here. That's awful. <laughs> Literally horrible. I mean, you can pick it up and yeah, you can cart it around right under your feet. That is. Well, we're playing with it, but that is horrible. Yeah, look, you stand the thing up, look, and the whole thing wants to rise up. Ugh. Oh, right, the last one. Finally, we have yet another MV680 UK. These things really are the, the unwanted they'll ever be, aren't they? Bless them. Just like all sharks, eventually will be. Let's not lift this one away first, then we want to do the bin. So we can see the filters. Ooh. Very hairy filters. Oh gosh. This one may or may not run. 
I don't actually know now. That also stinks, so if it runs, we're not running it for long. Right, left away. So we can turn the head over and see that this again isn't too bad at all, actually. All seems to be working well. Hose isn't split. Yeah, not too bad at all. Let's power this up. This is probably going to be the one that's going to explode because by the odds of what we have had today, we're due one. Oh, ah. oh, yeah. Okay. Ah. Well, this one has a dead floor head. But you know what? We're going to be incredibly, incredibly cheeky here because I also still have my old. Well, this is one of the ones that I wrote off last year. NV680 UK. So, what we're going to do because, hey, it's been kicking around for almost a year now with no purpose to it at all. Not that one. Oh, we've got to take the cable off. They didn't actually try this full head out, so there we go. We can just lift away. There we go. Yeah. This is obviously the one with the completely smashed housing, so fit only for spares, and we've already looked at it, so who cares? Let's try this. Oh! See, that's not the working hair now, so... That's another nice working pair, which is good, because we should try and get some of this stuff down that we've got behind us. Let's give it a crevice tool. Let's give it... Oh, God, let's work out... Which one of the five million? I don't think I've got any more of that style, actually. Ooh. I think they're all the same now. Ah. Who cares? Not that one. And then, of course, we do have, which we've seen before, my blue one. With the Bilarco motor in it, which I've done nothing with. We really must fix these up. But, these are both a working pair. So, sweet. We best sum up. This video seems like it's gone on for a long time. Whew. There we are then on this side. Fully working. Everything works. I've included the one that I need to fix the recline lock on because I think it's just a plastic. Look, even the bird has come to say hello. Hi, buddy. These four here, well, they do actually all have working main motors. Their only problems, actually, no, one doesn't. One is the smashed red one, which now has a non-working brush. That's probably going to be a donor machine, because, you know, we need a cable. And I don't need five of the same type of shark. The others, the main motors work. It's only the brush rod motors. I think we're going to have to also include that head there, because it's going to have to be the fix for the jammed up head. If we wiggle them about a little bit, we get them in model order. And from the left, we have our NV681, then our NV801, then a huge line of NV680s and three AX950s. I'm quite excited now. I was fully expecting this video to be full of things catching fire, the bird doing one all over the place. And I might get two or three out of this job lot, but I have all of that, and then a huge table full of rubbish. I mean, full of exciting, amazing stuff over there. So, stay tuned. We're going to get a couple of videos out of these. I know that the floor heads do cause issues on them. And, well, we have a few that don't work. So, we can do all that. Probably not going to do you an individual after video of all of them. We might, you know, I'll try and see if we can group it together for each model, perhaps. But, yeah. Lots of shark content coming up, and who knows, I might even keep one about and see if I can get it ready to use for 12 vacuums 12 months later on in the year. So, until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please go nuts with all your shark comments down below, and I and these will see you soon. Bye-bye.